Hey, welcome back to Grandma's Corner 2020. Thanks for joining me. We are going to be reading a very fun book. It is an alphabet book, but an alphabet book like you have never seen before. This one's called The Icky Bug Alphabet Book. And it's got so many cool creatures in it. You're going to love it because I love it. So thanks for joining me. And as you can see, I have my entourage who also decided to come and join me today. All right, guys ready? I think they're ready. Here we go. A. A is for alphabet book. A is also for ant. Ants are hard workers. Ants are able to carry things that are larger and heavier than they are. They always seem to be trying to build something. A. Next letter. B. B is for bumblebee. Because the bumblebee is furry, it is able to stay outside in cooler weather than other types of bees. Bumblebees fly from flower to flower collecting nectar to make honey. B says B. B. C. C is for cricket. The cricket likes to hide under things. It makes noise by rubbing its wings together. Isn't it fun to listen to lots of crickets at night? C. K. C actually makes two sounds, soft C and a hard C. D. D is for dragonfly. The dragonfly has four wings. When the dragonfly stops flying and takes a rest, they are unable to fold their wings back. So their wings always stay out, just like you see in the picture. Now other insects like beetles, they can fold their wings up or a ladybird beetle, but not dragonflies. Get ready. E. E is for earwig. No one seems to know how the earwig got its name. It does not crawl, crawl into people's ears. It ha does have a pincer at the tail end of its body. So you want to be careful with those. They will pinch you. All right, what's the next letter? You got it, F. F, F is for firefly. The firefly shines like light bulbs in the dark. When they light up, they can find each other more easily. Fireflies are easy to catch because they fly very slowly. Now I live in California and we don't have fireflies here on the West Coast, but you can find them on the East Coast. And when I visit my family, I do like to catch fireflies. G. G is for grasshopper. Boing, boing, boing. Grasshoppers can jump really well. If you try to catch one, it will usually jump away just as you are about to touch it. G. All right, next letter is... H. H is for horsefly. The green-headed horsefly has pretty eyes, but it has a terrible bite. If one of these lands on you, be careful. Yikes! Push it away! I think these are the ones that get on horses. Drive them crazy. I. I is for isle moth. The isle moth has two spots on its lower wings that look like eyes. When birds go near these moths and see the spots, they become startled and fly away. All right, after I comes the letter J. J is for Japanese beetle. These beetles love to eat flowers. Sometimes they eat so much that they cause lots of damage to plants. 
K. K is for Katie did. Katie did like crickets make noise by rubbing their wings together. The noise they make sounds like their name. Katie did, Katie did, Katie did, Katie did. Sometimes they say, Katie didn't. Ha <laughs> ha, funny joke. <laughs> All right, after K, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. L is for ladybug. The insect is really called a ladybird beetle. They are so round, it's hard to believe that they can fly, but they can. M. M is for monarch. The monarch butterfly is known for migrating. It flies from northern United States all the way to Mexico. Birds know that monarchs taste awful, so they never try to eat them. Remember the video I did on the life cycle of a butterfly? It happened to be about the monarch. N. N is for noceums. Noceums is a word for tiny insects that are almost impossible to see. They are flies that are really called midges. They can make people miserable because they bite. So that's a little magnifying glass, and that's how tiny they are if you look at them really up close. They're the things that drive you crazy, and they're called noceums. Oh, O is for orb weaver. Spiders that make round orb-shaped webs are called orb weavers. Many people are frightened of spiders, but most of them will not hurt you. We learned about these in the last video I read called spiders. P. Oh, Rollin and James, you love this one. P is for praying mantis. It's called a praying mantis because it looks like it is kneeling and praying. Gardeners and farmers like them because they eat pesty bugs that are harmful to vegetables and other plants. Good job, praying mantis. Q. Q is for queen bee. In a beehive, there is only one queen bee. She can lay thousands of eggs per day. All of the other bees in the hive take good care of the queen bee. She's also a lot bigger than the other bees. R. R is for red admiral. This butterfly is not bright red like an apple or a cherry. It is a rusty orange color. Red admirals are very difficult to catch because they fly fast and erratically. So what does erratically mean? Ding, 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 ding. They just go everywhere. S. S is for scorpion. Scorpions are really scary looking. They have two front pincers just like lobsters. At the end of their tails, they have stingers. Would you like to be stung by a scorpion? Oh, no way, Jose. There are some scorpions that are harmless, but I wouldn't touch them. They still sting a bit. T. T is for tarantula. The tarantula is a big furry spider. It can grow to be as big as your hand. Tarantulas and scorpions are found in warm climates. U. U is for unfinished painting. On this page, the illustrator forgot to finish painting the picture. So maybe there isn't an insect or a bug that starts with the letter U. So the author had to get creative and say that the picture was not finished, so they called it unfinished. However, U is for unicorn beetle. 
Okay, that's better. Now the illustrator has finished the painting. The unicorn beetle has a single horn sticking out of its head. Oh, that author fooled us. Pretty tricky. V. V is for velvet mite. These creatures are red and so small that you can hardly see them. About 30 of them could fit on the fingernail of your hand. That's pretty tiny. You can get 30 of them. Fingernail on your hand or your thumb. W. W is for water spider. The spider makes its home underwater. It weaves a special web which allows it to bring air under the water. It catches and eats things that swim or float by. Kind of like a scuba diver, do you think? I think. X. X is for the marking on the back of this bug. We could not find a bug whose name began with the letter X. This bug is called a cotton, cotton stainer. Now I am gonna talk a little bit about this because a true bug actually has an X on its back. So that's how you can tell it's a bug as opposed to a beetle or a fly. This is a true bug with an X. And those are actually wings that are folded. Y. Y is for yellow plant bug. This bug, bug is very easy to see because it is a bright color. It has six legs just like all other insects. Now, do you see the X on the back? Its wings make an X, and this is another bug. A true bug. Z. Z is for zillions of zebra butterflies. Zillions of them flying all at once would be a beautiful sight to see. Wow. That's so cool. Now we have gone through the alphabet. On this page are some wicked, icky bugs. Mosquito. Wah! Well, thanks for joining me. I love learning about insects and animals and arachnids and all those fun things. I know I've done a couple of videos on them. You should find my video about the difference between an insect and arachnid. And I'm going to do more stuff about science because I just happen to love science. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me. Hey, good night, all my friends. We're going to go to bed now because we're already in our nighttime gear. So you have a good evening and ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.